Ooga, booga, boo. Cave club, cave club, cave club, slate, cave clubs, slate. Coming up after this. Well, this is the one I want. This is the one, the only one that I thought I was going to get because I thought it was going to be good. But I can't pass up this awesome Cave Club awesomeness. Okay, this is what his card looks like. I'm really excited to open him. I didn't think we were going to get him in Canada because the first case assortments did not have him in. But at Walmarts, I've seen him starting to show up. Some Walmarts don't have him. They're just getting the same figures in the same cases. But I guess there's like two different possible cases you can get. And one of them has the guy inside. His name is Slate. He's adorable. Here's what the back of the packaging looks like. That's the other side. It was upside down. Look, there's some cave drawings. And that's suitable for him because he is an artiste. Okay, my scissors are under the computer, but maybe I don't need them. We've got another one of these little pieces of crystal. I think this is a different one from the other two that we saw. Those are fun to save. He's got a fanny pack, which I have seen people struggle with figuring out where it goes. He's got Taggy. Taggy's his little dino bird. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, it's Plump Bum. And I don't know where they are. I don't know where my other ones are right now, but I'll have to maybe bring them out at the end. That is his comb. It's hollow on the back. It's green. You could use it as a pick in his hair. He has awesome hair. This is how I have gotten my hair cut. I want to have hair like him. I didn't tell the hairdresser when I went to get my hair cut that this is who I wanted to look like. And she was, she said, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't know what you want. And I just said, it's, ba it's a disconnected undercut. It's an existing haircut. I don't know why she never heard of it before. She couldn't fathom. Anyway, I think it worked out. I don't think my hairline works exactly in the right way, but I think it's in a pretty good spot. I'm going to be able to cut it myself. That is the main focus here. Inspired by him, I had a haircut like this for many years, so it's not really inspired by him. Wait, his goes down a little bit too. We're going to have exactly the same haircut. That's awesome. He's adorable. He's a little hunky and chunkier than the others. I guess I do have to go find them. Great colors. Really cute. He's got a broader, more muscular body than the girls. He looks pretty tough. I like his hair. I like his hair color. I like the paint on his face. I like his eyebrows. I'm thinking I am going to dress these in normal clothes and have them as regular peeps. Before I take off his clothes though, I better show you what all of his accessories are. And I should probably put on my cave glasses. He's pretty tough. He's he's pretty jacked. He's got some beefed up arms. He has this paint palette that he can wear on his wrist like that, but it also has a thumb print. I wonder if you can put his thumb through. That's what those things are for. You can kind of put his thumb through it if you want to have him hold it like that. He also has a necklace that is elastic banded down and it's pretty cool. It's a bunch of teeth on a string. It's awesome. Look at his eyebrows. Look at his face. He's cute. He's kawaii. And he's got these anklets which have laces in them. And they go on his ankles from the back. He has a paintbrush that came in his hand. It's got a little handle piece on it. And it's got green paint on just one side of it. It's nice. 
And then he's got a fanny pack that actually opens. It looks like it opens. Uh-oh. It's not a mechanical hinge though, so I'm not gonna ever open it again because I don't want it to wear out. But you can see he's got a selection of paint brushes inside with paint spilled on them. And you can see there's a fastener for him to wear it. And people are struggling with how he wears it. So I don't think he can really wear it around his waist. Nope, because it's much too big. So I guess he's supposed to wear it across his chest. Seems to be very common at Mattel anyway. All, a lot of dolls are wearing their fanny packs across their chest. And I see it's not staying on perfectly, but he can balance it. And you can also put his paintbrush into the little holster piece there. Really, really adorable. Okay, now let's uh, break him down Well, after I show you. Taggy. Taggy, again, plump, dino bird baby with a tuft of hair, kind of like a cockatoo, kind of like a dinosaur. It was all one thing back then. Let's uh, see what's going on underneath all of this. So you can take his shirt off. It's all jaggedy and stuff. And you never know what the print is going to look like. It's different sometimes. And there he is, his little Bam Bam shorts. Oh yeah, he looks great like this. He's tough. Super duper cute. Let's take off these cuff things. Let's see his feet. Cute, cute, cute. I wonder what clothes are going to fit on him. He's really small, so maybe old Monster High. I really like those shorts. But I'm thinking that his waist is tinier than anybody's. They all have giant legs at the bottom and big fat chunky hunky feet so this is what he looks like in his nudiness even though he does have on a little pair of skin colored underwear that's his bum cute adorable necklace of course just pulls off like so i never show you what their ears look like but they're cute really really adorable little wild beast babies really really cute okay uh that's what uh slate looks like stay tuned to the end i'll show you a comparison of the boy and the girl body i hope you'll like comment share and subscribe i'm really excited i have two more sets to open by the way these two see you next time And don't forget to check out my other videos with my other cave clubs. He's so cute and so tough. Gonna definitely have to try on Creatable World. It's, I think it's gonna be too small. No, I'll have to figure it out. Articulation is ball jointed hips, knees bend and swivel, elbows bend and swivel, wrists bend and swivel. Neck is just straight. There's no, like, it's not a bubble joint. Shoulders, all range of motion on them. Cute. Here's the girl. Here's the girls. Here are the girls. They're all really nice skin tones. I think they have the same feet. Yeah, they have the same legs and feet. The girls had bigger bums. The boys had bigger chests and bigger arms and bigger hands. Really, really love his hands. Great, great sculpts here. I love her hands too. They are so cute. They're little cave babies. Adorable. So adorbs. His hair is crimped too. Look at that wild hair. I can totally get that look. I love him. He's a little wild baby. This is a Spin Master top. I think it's Live Dolls. Is that what it was? So they're a little smaller than Ken. But basically that's what a Ken t-shirt would look like on him. I definitely have to try Creative World clothes on him. That'll be another video. Let me know if you want to see that video of me trying to find Monster High or other clothes that I can put on them. Love you guys. Love you guys.
Grrrr!